Patient and persistent. Two words that describe Sevier County native and Tennessee senior, Spencer Cross. The growth in his game correlates well with the growth in the Tennessee golf program, a program he loves so much. A lot, a lot of things I can say for that, Austin. Um, I think the biggest thing that I've taken away here in my time at Tennessee is just forming a family and having really good support around me every single day. Um, it, it's shaped me into the person that I am today, and I'm very blessed to have the opportunity to play here and play golf and meet the people that I have and uh, wouldn't trade it for anything. From shooting a career worst 90 early in his career to most recently winning the Louis Chatangua Memorial in the state of Virginia, the growth is remarkable. Maybe even the most Coach Brennan Webb has ever seen. Probably more than any other player that I've ever had. Um, not only as a golfer, obviously, but as a person and um, who he's wanted to become and has become has been amazing. It's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it was a lot of hard work uh, that got me here, and that's about all it has been. I mean, I, I just put my head down every single day and went to work and did the little things that I could do um, to get me in the best position to play the best golf that I could. Whether it worked out um, was was up to the up to the results and whatever happened. I'm kind of I kind of just kept on working. I uh, didn't didn't force myself onto anything, and uh, it's it's starting to pay off for me. Yeah, I mean, I was saying to somebody probably two weeks before he was kind of in contention uh, and didn't didn't finish the deal at a tournament, and I was like, it would be a shame for Spencer to leave here not having an individual win just because of what he's done for this place and how much work he's put in to be able to be that, that guy that goes and contends every week. And, uh, you know, to see him win that tournament, the Louis Chetangle Memorial and everything that goes along with that for us, it was, it was amazing and uh, won't ever forget uh, giving him that big hug on the 18th green. When you watch Spencer play, he's not going to wow you with the booming drives or do anything that's just spectacular, but he does nothing poor. His game is very solid. But if you asked him his strength, well, let's just say around the greens, Spencer gets it done. I would say my short game, chipping, uh, my bunker play, uh, I take, take a lot of pride in that. I've worked, worked hard on that and I feel like I can get up and down from just about anywhere, which relieves a little bit of stress whenever you miss the green. So I, I would say short game, wedges. I kind of classify myself as a good competitor, pretty much the same thing as a, as a grinder, but um, li like I told you today, it, the way it doesn't take a whole lot for me to get involved in a game. I, there doesn't have to be a whole lot at stake. I just want to win. Um, and that's what it comes down to um, when I tee it up. I just want to win and I'm going to do everything in my power to put me in the best position to do that. So yeah, I would say that's kind of what my, my game revolves around is my competitiveness because I don't overpower golf courses. I don't do anything crazy special, but I have to do something, something else uh, to get me in those positions to win. A finalist for the Byron Nelson Award, awarded annually to a graduating senior who excels both academically and athletically on the golf course while showcasing character and integrity. Spencer embodies everything that's right about college athletics. That's the biggest award you can win in college golf in my mind. What Byron Nelson has done and the legacy that he has lived is pretty incredible. Um, you live up on that story and, and to just be a finalist with his name on the award uh, is a great honor. So I'm just lucky and fortunate to be in the position to uh, be in the finalist spot. Um, but it, it is a great honor to be uh, recognized with Byron Nelson.